Week one kicks off from the Motor City. Back on. Off play action. Here's Goff. He's airing it out for Williams. And got his man complete. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Lions on just two plays have taken the lead. When you think of guys that are built to be big arm quarterbacks, Jared Goff, he fits that mold, and he showed it off right there. And we knew that this offense was going to try to put pressure on the secondary. That was something. Down here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Well, that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well. First and ten, golf. And this is caught by Williams. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in because playing a receiver in the NFL is a difficult task. Throwing on third, golf. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Off their next drive. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yes, he's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. He's airing it out for Williams. And that will be incomplete. And a lot more if he would have been able to haul that one in. Yeah, in fact, our statistician Marvin was already handing me a piece of paper with that yardage totaled on it. He thought that catch was going to happen just as you and I did. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Headline the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about... Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. A big play there for Detroit. A shotgun snap for Gong. He's got his man. It's caught for the Lion touchdown. A great effort there. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the Lions will take over. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat. That's definitely a penalty. Now a play fake, and it's gone. That's caught by the big tight end. I remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL to the line now. On first down, it's gone. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Now, after that sack, it's second and 21. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's ha-ha Clinton Dix with a... Now Goff on first down. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they believe he can be a three-down back. They want to get him in space against linebackers. 46 catches his rookie year. They expect that number to get into the 60s. Third and two. Goff. He's got it to Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another try after the first down sack. Goff trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. 
Picked by Emmanuel Mosley. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That is caught. It's Williams. And he'll be out right at the 35. But their offense just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Decent opener. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Back to throw. Golf. He's airing it out for Williams. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Golf on first down. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. Now a first down throw, gone. That one complete, he finds Sharp. Three yards of the game there, second down. Brings up second and seven. From the gun, here's gone. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Caught left side. Williams. Already plenty of intrigue with the games going on. And this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. In 2020, hit on the stop defensively. Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. To throw is golf. And this is going to be incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, off their next drive. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. But the four-minute offense is just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball. The tension is they're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. He's airing it out for Williams. And that is incomplete. Throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times. Tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. And this is caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. Goff looking to throw. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead as they call the timeout defensively. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Goff going to throw it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. A one-yard gain there all in the air here on third. I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. Now gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. First throw in overtime for Goff. It's incomplete. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Williams brings it in. Out the game and finally forced an incompletion. Throwing again is Goff. And this is caught by Williams. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. And that carry probably not so much for yardage, just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And in the yardage game, there's really kind of gravy. And this just becomes what my coach used to say. Get into position to be in position. And that's what they want, the right spot for their kicker to line up the field goal. 
Seventh play in the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. We needed extra time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off, but all throughout, really just a great game to witness. I agree, and, and the whole time we were watching and, and working on this game, in the back of my head we could get to overtime just the way this game went the ebb and flow of it all and then to get there and finish it what I would call an old school way a running play because in today's NFL we throw the ball to ring the bell don't we <laughs> not there they ran it in and again just a great great game that we bore witness to so for the Lions, it's a victory for Jared Goff in his debut in the Motor City. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they go down to defeat here in the opener.